we are given potential in a region which varies as minus ax cube plus b we need to find the space charge distribution in the as in the form of charge density so how many coulombs per meter cube we have the space charge if it generates a potential of this form so first thing is electric field we are going to calculate from here which is standard standard result minus tau by dou si cap minus tau by dou j cap minus tau by dou z k cap so as we can see v is only a function of x and nothing else with respect to y and z the potential is constant so these terms become zero and minus tau v by dou x becomes 3 ax square i cap so this is our electric field in the region it's uniform no sorry not uniform but it's in a unidirectional everywhere it's in the direction of i cap and at x equal to 0 it is zero this gives us a hint to create a gaussian surface starting from origin and up to the distance x why gaussian surface because we need to find the space charge rho so we can we need to find the charge inside and then we can just divide it by this volume to get the rho so we need a volume element here so we have taken a cylindrical volume element and at a distance x so electric field there will be 3 ax square let's say the area of this cross section is a so using gauss law we can write e into a is equal to q in by epsilon and we are not taking the electric field on this side because it is zero and on the lateral surface of course the e dot ds is going to be zero because electric field is towards x direction and area vector will be perpendicular to it so q in to calculate q in we will go to a distance l and we'll take a small slice of width dl so we'll see what is the charge on that slice and then we are going to integrate that from 0 to x to get the total charge so electric field we put 3x square times a is equal to integral dq by epsilon and dq is rho at this location times volume of this element so rho at this location let it be rho l and volume of the element is adl so a will get cancelled and you will be left with 3 epsilon a x square is equal to limits will be from 0 to x for total charge rho l dl now we need to differentiate this with respect to x on both sides so this is a standard mathematical way to solve these kind of equations so because the limit is from 0 to x we are going to uh, differentiate it with respect to x on both sides so this term will simply come out in the form of x so right side will become rho x and left side will be differentiated and it will be 3 epsilon a into 2x which will give the rho x as 6 epsilon a x which is our answer but we are not done yet now if you are stuck in problem and you have come here maybe you got in problem and that problem is resolved here as a small correction in the problem so here the field is the the potential is given as minus ax cube plus b but i am going to modify it not modify let me say it i am going to correct it by writing it as minus a modulus of x cube plus b you see if i do it like this then let's see what results i get so for x greater than 0 my potential is still the same what we did there right so potential is still this and the field will still be this and we are going to give the same result 6 epsilon ax which we got here so why we did this then so I'll, you'll see it in a moment so if i put x less than 0 then this equation will become ax cube plus b right if i am removing the mod this minus sign will be taken care of for less than 0 if i remove the mod this becomes ax cube plus b and from here if i do minus tau by dou x my electric field comes to be minus 3ax square plus b and from this electric field if you calculate the rho 
at a distance x backwards you will get it as minus 6 epsilon ax so if you go forward the charge density is positive and if you go backward charge density is positive that is the corrected way why this is the corrected way see here so from this one and two we are getting positive charge on both sides of the origin which now you can see and as the x is increasing you can see that the electric field is also increasing so e is 3ax square here and minus 3ax square here so the density is increasing density is increasing and the, therefore the field is also increasing but it's symmetric about the origin so now you can imagine that electric field at the origin will be zero which should come correct but if we take our answer as this for all the points in the spaces then for the left side of the origin if rho is 6 epsilon ax then the charge density is negative which means if you take the plane on origin electric field on that origin should be towards left so due to the positive charge towards left due to negative charge also towards left which means electric field at this plane cannot be zero but by our equation it is saying it's zero so it's an anomaly to resolve this anomaly we put a modulus modulus here and then we see that the electric field is positive on both sides sorry not electric field the charges are positive on both sides which give the electric field at the center as zero so with the original equation rho is equal to 6 with the original solution i should say rho is equal to 6 epsilon ax e cannot be zero at origin as seen by charge distribution in fact it will be maximum at origin in magnitude so yeah this is the correction and i now i think if anyone had this doubt if they thought later that with this charge distribution how can e be zero here then this is in my opinion at least that we should put a mod here i may be wrong correct me in the comments if that is so all right